Welcome into our weekly summary of some of the week's top crime stories. I'm Rob Eastwood in for Ralph Mangum. These stories are all from the week of August 21st through August 25th. Here we go. Topping our news today, a Troutman man facing murder charges in connection to a house fire that claimed family members' lives has decided not to accept the state's plea deal. 23-year-old Corey Alexander Cook of Troutman will stand trial on three charges of first-degree murder. He is also charged with setting fire to the home and 17 counts of felony identity theft. Cook appeared in Iredell County Superior Court last Thursday to reportedly enter a plea in the case, but he made the decision to not accept the deal. A Rule 24 hearing will be held for the state to present evidence before a judge to determine if Cook will now face the death penalty if convicted. The deal would have allowed Cook to plead to three charges of second degree murder that would have carried three sentences of 25 years to be served consecutively for a total of 75 years. Firefighters were called to Lorem Drive in Troutman July 27th of 2021. Cook made several statements to law officers about the fire. As the investigation continued, officers began to find holes in the story. Detectives were aware of a call for a domestic disturbance earlier in the day at the residence. The investigation revealed that an adult, Cook, had left the home in his mother's car and drove to his grandmother, Sandra Dover's home in Mooresville. On August 28th of 2021, police said evidence moved them to view Cook as the suspect. It was that day that the executor of the family's estates called to reveal that the deceased family member's credit cards had been used to purchase Amazon gift cards. When confronted by detectives later, Cook claimed innocence. However, when the video was pulled from Harris Teeter grocery store where the cards were bought and where Cook worked, it showed he had been the one to purchase the cards. He also bought them in amounts of $100 to avoid a manager being involved in the transaction. On October 15th of 2021, Cook was questioned and he reportedly confessed to the deaths and the arson. Cook remained in the Iredell County Detention Center as of earlier today under no bond. 28-year-old Luis Manuel Valdez of Raleigh was arrested Saturday by Catawba County Sheriff's officers. He's charged with felony failure to report a new address as a sex offender, breaking and entering with intent to terrorize or injure an assault on a female. Probation and parole charged Valdez with parole violation. Valdez is on the North Carolina Sex Offender and Public Protection Registry as a result of a conviction in January 2017 for indecent liberties with a minor and kidnapping against a minor. He received 16 to 29 months in prison and was required to register as a sex offender for a minimum of 10 years. Following the arrest, Valdez was jailed in the Catawba County Detention Facility under $10,000 bond. District court dates were scheduled for today and Wednesday, August 23rd. Police reportedly seized a firearm and marijuana following a traffic stop. 69-year-old William Anthony Booth of Abernathy Avenue in Statesville was arrested on August 14th by Iredell County Sheriff's officers. He's charged with felony counts of possession of a firearm by a felon, possession of marijuana, possession with intent to sell or deliver marijuana, and maintaining a vehicle for controlled substance. Booth is also charged with misdemeanor counts of possession of drug paraphernalia and carrying a concealed gun along with a count of driving while license revoked. An officer conducted a traffic stop on a Toyota Sequoia on August 14th, according to a news release. The offer then discovered that Booth, the owner and driver of the vehicle, had a suspended driver's license. While the deputy was speaking with Booth, he saw a handgun concealed in the door of the vehicle. Booth is a convicted felon and cannot possess a firearm, so the firearm was seized and a search of the vehicle was conducted. 
During the search, deputies found two bags containing a total of 45.59 grams of marijuana, according to the news release. The Iredell County Sheriff's Office says that Booth's criminal history includes the following charges. Two counts of felony breaking and entering along with felony counts of breaking and entering to a motor vehicle, possession of stolen goods and assault with a deadly weapon with intent to kill. Following his arrest, Booth was transported to the Iredell County Detention Center under a $23,500 secured bond. He was not listed as an inmate in Iredell County as of earlier today. A district court date is set for October 10th. Reporting for WHKY News, I'm Rob Eastwood. 27-year-old Andrew Thomas Dawson of Conover will serve a prison sentence of 9 to 21 years following his conviction for sexual offenses during Catawba County Superior Court this past Monday. The Honorable Peter Knight, Superior Court Judge from Henderson County, imposed the terms of the plea arrangement after Dawson entered his guilty plea to second-degree sexual offense and attempted second-degree rape. Dawson will also have to register as a sex offender for 30 years. On April 22nd of 2022, the female victim in this case was working at a hotel when the defendant came into a room she was cleaning and assaulted her. As the physical struggle ensued, Dawson started to sexually assault the victim who tried multiple times to call 911 for help. When he realized the victim's 911 call finally went through, the defendant left the room, got into a car, and drove away. The victim said that she saw the defendant leaning on a railing prior to going into the room to clean. Security camera footage reviewed by investigators from the Hickory Police Department confirmed his activity outside the room where the sexual assault took place. The case was investigated by Tammy Johnson of the Hickory Police Department. Assistant District Attorney Nancy Lee handled the prosecution for the state. And in Alexander County, two suspects charged with fentanyl possession following a traffic stop. 21-year-old Morgan Travis Eisenhower and 33-year-old Jason Colton Hubbard, both of Taylorsville, were arrested Saturday by Alexander County Sheriff's officers. Eisenhower is charged with felony counts of possession of fentanyl and providing contraband to an inmate along with a misdemeanor count of possession of drug paraphernalia. Hubbard is charged with felony possession of fentanyl. They were arrested during the evening hours on Saturday following a traffic stop. They were both brought to the Alexander County Detention Center. A warrant for breaking and entering was also served against Eisenhower. He remained in jail as of earlier today under $60,000 secured bond. Hubbard, who is also awaiting trial on a previous charge of felony possession of Schedule II controlled substance, was released under $2,000 secured bond. Both suspects were scheduled to appear in district court September 11th. Also, a Morganton man charged with sexual exploitation, 41-year-old Aaron Doyle Merching of Oakdale Drive in Morganton was arrested Tuesday by Burke County Sheriff's officers. He's charged with three felony counts of third degree sexual exploitation of a minor. On Tuesday, the Burke County Sheriff's Office investigated a cyber tip that was received from internet crimes against children. Following the investigation, warrants were issued against Aaron Doyle Mershing for the sexual exploitation charges. Mershing was arrested without incident and issued a $20,000 secured bond. He was not listed as an inmate in Burke County today. A district court date is scheduled for Thursday. A man charged with sexual exploitation on Tuesday was arrested again on Thursday for a string of indecent liberties charges. 41-year-old Aaron Doyle Mershing of Oakdale Drive in Morganton was arrested by Burke County Sheriff's officers Thursday and charged with 10 felony counts of indecent liberties with a child. On Tuesday, the Burke County Sheriff's Office investigated a cyber tip that was received from internet crimes against children. 
Following the investigation, the initial warrants were issued against Mershing for three counts of sexual exploitation of a child. Following the second arrest Thursday, Mershing was placed in the Burke County Jail under $50,000 secured bond. He remained in jail as of today, and a district court appearance was also scheduled for today. I'm Ariana Mack reporting for WHKY News. Back to you, Rob. 43-year-old Michael Franklin Raquette was taken into custody on Saturday, August 12th by the Catawba County Sheriff's Office and was charged with attempted first-degree murder, discharging a gun into occupied property and assault by pointing a gun. WHKY previously reported on this case. He was initially placed in the Catawba County Detention Facility without bond. Raquette was granted bond and released last week. Last Thursday, Raquette was arrested by the Alexander County Sheriff's Office and was charged with felony discharging a weapon into occupied property and injury to real property. He was placed in the Alexander County Detention Center under a secured bond of $75,000. Raquette posted bond and was released. According to the Alexander County Sheriff's Office, the suspect is alleged to have fired multiple rounds into a residence off Rink Dam Road. No injuries were reported. The charges from Catawba County stem from a separate incident in the pre-dawn hours August 12th at a location near Hickory. The dwelling was occupied, but none of the gunfire caused injury. Raquette was scheduled to appear in Alexander County District Court today in Taylorsville. His next Catawba County court appearance is set for August 31st. A probation violation charge is also pending in Alexander County, according to the North Carolina Department of Corrections. Raquette was convicted on a DWI charge in McDowell County in 2022 and was given a 24-month suspended sentence. Police release photo of suspect in Newton armed robbery. The investigation into an armed robbery at a convenience store in Newton is continuing and a photo of the suspect has been released. WHKY previously reported on this case Monday, August 21st. Last Saturday, shortly before 3.45 a.m., officers from the Newton Police Department responded to the Circle H gas station and convenience store at 334 East 20th Street. Upon arrival, officers were told that a black male suspect entered the store and demanded money from the store clerk as he displayed a weapon. The suspect then left the store on foot with an undisclosed amount of money traveling west on East 20th Street. With the assistance of the Catawba County Sheriff's Office K-9 unit, officers searched the area but were unable to find the suspect. The suspect is described as being a black male, possibly in his 20s or 30s, between 5'7 and 5'10 in height, weighing between 170 to 180 pounds, wearing a black face mask, black hoodie shirt, black pants, and black tennis shoes. This is an ongoing investigation being conducted by the Newton Police Department. Anyone who may have witnessed the robbery or has any additional information about this incident, including the possible identity of the suspect, is asked to contact investigator Dylan Adkins with the Newton Police Department. You've been watching WHKY's weekly recap of some of the top crime stories from August 21st through the 25th. Thank you for your continued support of WHKY News.